Hey guys, today I'm going to show you what is in our hospital bags. This is for a repeat C-section, um, but as you guys all know, you can go into labor at any time, so it could be for an emergency C-section, you never know. I am currently 38 weeks and four days pregnant, and I have not had my bags packed for long at all, and they're actually not 100% packed. However, this is what I have in them currently, and I have a list of last minute things that I also want to add, so I will read that list to you off at the end. And this is for mom and baby. Um, my husband is going to be packing his own bags, kind of last minute, um, that's how he wanted to do it. So I'm just gonna let him do it that way. If you guys are new to our channel, my name is Sienna, I have a husband, his name is Josh, we have a almost two year old toddler, his name is Crew, and we're expecting baby number two in about, oh it's actually one week from today is our scheduled C-section. So yeah, um, we actually just bought a house and we have been fixing it up a little bit here and there and um, so now we're all hands on deck for baby and getting prepared for her to come and we've done a lot of pregnancy videos um, so feel free to check that out and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Alright, let's go ahead and get into it. So first I'm going to talk about stuff for me. Um, so the first thing I put in our hospital bags is a nursing bra. This is the one I have. Um, it came from Target. I have not used this brand. This is a brand new bra, so we'll see how I like it. Um, but my ones from when Crew was a baby are just really gross, and so I wanted a new one. So I'm bringing that. I'm also packing just a normal bra for myself, um, just a, you know, just a regular old bra. I probably won't be wearing bras much in the hospital if we're being honest, um, but like, you know, I don't, since I haven't tried that nursing bra on, I wasn't sure how it would fit or anything like that, and so I just wanted to bring a normal one for like when we're leaving the hospital and everything like that. So for my coming home outfit, um, since I am having a C-section, I didn't want anything too tight that will be on the scar down there. So I decided to bring a dress. And this is the dress I chose. It's just a flowy, comfortable dress. And it's basically just for the car ride home. But in case I wasn't feeling a dress, you never know if it's gonna be like extremely windy out for a dress, you know. And I don't know what my situation underneath the dress is going to look like. So I also just wanted to bring a pair of loose fitting leggings. I'm also bringing three pairs of underwear. Um, these are, I bought these specifically for after a C-section. They're high waisted underwear. And um, I remember with my first C-section, I did not have high-waisted underwear, and it was something I wish I would have had. So I bought high-waisted underwear for the occasion, and um, they're full coverage, you know, that way I can wear a pad or anything for the bleeding, because when you have a C-section, you still bleed down there. Um, so yeah, you gotta be prepared for that. Also bringing a pair of sandals. Um, just to walk around the hospital in or to take a shower with anything I might need them for and for my accessories I'm bringing a claw clip and a scrunchie just one of each because I'm not sure which one I'm gonna want to wear or anything like that so I figured I'd bring one of each of those I'm also bringing some nursing pads because those will be good to have in case I do want to wear a bra in the hospital or on the way home. I'm pretty sure the hospital is going to give me pads, but just in case they don't, I wanted to bring some pads of my own. I think there's only like four in here, so bringing those. I'm also bringing this nipple cream that I have. Um, this is actually left over from when Crew was a baby, so I remember last time in the hospital they did give me some of this 
and so I'm still planning on getting some from them but I just wanted to bring my own just in case you know I had to wait on them or they don't have any because this is for sure an absolute must-have I feel like a lot of people get sore nips when they start breastfeeding and this really like the first day I was getting sore and they told me to use this at the hospital and then I used it after every time I breastfed and it didn't hurt anymore after that so a lifesaver you do have to be careful because this will stain your clothes it's like Vaseline kind of so like Vaseline will stain your clothes it's that oily texture so be careful with this stuff bringing makeup wipes like I said if it was an emergency um, c-section we just had to go I wouldn't know what my makeup situation would be if I was wearing makeup that day or not um, so I wanted to bring makeup wipes to just kind of wipe off my face if I did have makeup on or I know that I'm going to want to wear some mascara maybe um, so if I ever want to take that off just want to be prepared and this is like an almost empty packet so there's only a few in here so I am bringing mascara I do not like this mascara I do not recommend it it's the voluminous hydrofuge um, which is why it's in my hospital bags and not in my makeup bag because it's been sitting in my hospital bags for a a little bit at least a week because um, I don't I don't love it so I'm bringing that um, I also want to bring an eyelash curler um, I know myself I know that I'm not gonna want to wear a full face of makeup when I go in there just because I'm gonna be going under surgery and I just like to not have anything really on my face but I do think mascara makes me feel a little bit better about myself and it's really easy to apply so I'm just gonna bring it in case I feel like putting that on some deodorant I would also not recommend this brand it's the Tom's deodorant it does not get rid of BO or anything like that and it's a natural deodorant but I'm bringing it anyway because I bought it and it's really expensive so I'm gonna use it I'm going to bring this toothpaste and my toothbrush which is still in our house not packed but that's on my last minute list and then we are going to bring some of these flushable toilet wipes um, I just think these are nice for like, um, well, first of all, they're nice for Josh to have in a hospital in case he has to poop or anything. He doesn't have to use like cheap hospital toilet paper, <laughs> but they're also nice for me because if I have like dried blood or anything, like I know this might be TMI, but if I have like dried blood or anything like on my thighs or, you know, anywhere, because it can get messy in there. These are nice to just kind of like wipe that up in the bathroom. So the next thing I'm bringing is a cup. This is actually Josh's cup, but I did bring a water cup last time when I had a C-section and it helped me so much. It helped me stay hydrated and I had it next to my table, like on my bedside table the whole time. They, they always refilled it for me. Josh always got me a refill and it was really nice to have. So I'm bringing one of his cups for myself because I don't have one. Um, and then he should also bring his cup, but it's at work. And so who knows if it's going to make it home, <laughs> for being honest. We might be sharing this. Um, but I would definitely recommend bringing a cup for both you and your spouse. So bringing a Bluetooth speaker. This, we brought this last time and it came in handy um, for white noise I would put you know white noise over our phones and this time we are bringing a portable sound machine however we just don't know if this we've never used this one before so we don't know how it's gonna work so we just wanted to back up we knew this speaker would work um, just want to back up and or if we want to play music or whatnot I'm not sure what the vibe is gonna be in there but yeah, and then, so we brought a portable sound machine and a charger for the sound machine or for the speaker, it, it works for both. I also forgot to mention in, in the toiletry section, I'm bringing chapstick. Um, I feel like this is a must have. I'm not a big chapstick person, but in the hospital, it's nice to have chapstick and just because it's nice to, it's like one of these little things that you can pack that it's like in case you do get chap lips it's gonna be nice to have some chapstick on hand so you don't have to deal with having chap lips on top of having a newborn okay so josh and i are also going to be filming a birth vlog 
and so we're gonna bring an extra battery pack charger and our vlogging what's this called tripod thing um so these are going into the hospital bags as long as this camera that i'm filming this on right now so all of those things are coming with us too also like a lot of people don't film their lives and put it on the internet for people but i do really 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 recommend filming your own birth video you don't have to share it with anyone you could just keep it for your keepsakes for your family videos but it is so special to look back on that day and to see what happened to see how you were feeling to see what the storyline was because you think you'll remember it but sadly our memories fade over time even a year you forget the little details and so I would highly recommend filming your birth video and you don't even have to edit it into a nice video just filming raw footage so you can look back at the day is very special all right so the next thing that we are bringing is some blank pieces of paper I did this for crew and I'm really happy that I did um, I'm just bringing this so that way when they take his little footprint they can give me a few extra copies so I can frame it or put it in a scrapbook or whatever I want to do with it. That way there's extra. Uh, they, you could do it at home, but it's just nicer to have the nurses do it for you when they're already there. The ink's already on the baby's foot and everything like that. So that's something that I love that I did last time. So I wanted to make sure I did it this time as well. Our paperwork for Cove's birth certificate. We pre-filled it all out and we are wanting to bring that to the hospital with us because the hospital has to finish filling the rest out with the date and time and you know all the details um, to send that off to the state. I think this is the last thing I'm bringing for myself. Um, I'm just bringing some prenatal, like two prenatal vitamins and I'm also on iron. So I'm bringing two iron pills. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to want me to take this, if they're not going to want me to take this, but um, it's really good for you to keep taking your prenatals after birth as well. So I just want to make sure I have those just in case. That was it for me. Now we can move on to the baby stuff, um, which is pretty minimal. They give you a lot in the hospital for the baby. So here's what we're packing for a cove. Okay, the first thing that we're going to bring her is a little Velcro swaddle. And the reason we're bringing this, they actually, you know, in the hospital, they will swaddle, at least from my experience, they will swaddle the baby up in their blankets and everything like that. And it's really nice to actually have them in their blankets because you just don't know what kind of gunk is going to get on, you know, everywhere, poop, pee, blood, you just never know. So it is nice to have them in the hospitals blankets however I do feel safer with my baby in a velcro swaddle opposed to like blankets um, they did have a they did give us a halo swaddle at the hospital last time too so that was nice um, but I just wanted to bring one just in case this is the swaddle me brand and it's what Josh and I prefer to use also gonna bring one burp cloth again they probably have this in the hospital um, but I just wanted one of my own. I also brought her binky um, because I'm a big fan of the binky and a lot of people say that it might mess breastfeeding up but the latest that I know is that the American Association of Pediatrics or whatever it's called um, did research and it does not mess up breastfeeding. So I'm going to be giving this to her in the hospital and on the way home even in the car seat and so I just wanted to make sure I had it also I should mention we're not bringing a diaper bag because anything that they give you on the host at the hospital that you're gonna be coming home with um, is basically anything that's gonna be in your diaper bag diapers wipes also going to bring be bringing this HACA manual breast pump um, it's just nice to catch like leakage from each side if that's happening I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna use this um, but I wanted to bring it and I'm also going to be bringing a 
baby bottle. Um, I did have a low milk supply with crew and so I am kind of preparing myself that it's gonna be the same situation for Cove. And so I just wanted one of our own bottles to have in case we do have to give her some formula or anything like that. Okay, all I have left is clothes, which is the most fun part in my opinion. <laughs> so, um, Josh and I have an agreement that I get to pick out the baby's announcement outfit. So like when you take a picture and you post it on social media to tell everyone, hey, this is our baby, this is how much she weighed, blah, 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 blah. I get to pick that outfit. Josh gets to pick the outfit she comes home in. Go ahead and start with the announcement photo outfit. So I chose this really cute, it's like a light pink cream colored and it's a little knotted gown. You just knot it at the end. I think it's so cute. And so I brought that. It comes with this cute little hat. So I'm bringing that, but I also wanted to bring some bows just in case I wanted to do a bow instead. And I'm bringing two different bows. <laughs> I'm bringing this really cute little orange one. So here's kind of what that would look like together. And then I'm bringing this really cute pink checkered one. And that's what that option kind of looks like together. I think they're both really cute. I think the hat would be cute. I might just do all three, heck, I don't know, and choose my favorite picture. And then I also wanted to bring this little disc. It says, hello world. And on the other side, it says, oh baby. Um, I bought these off Amazon and it actually it came with this one plus all the monthly milestone ones, you know, for like one month, two months for the monthly pictures. So I plan to use those with crew. I just did a letter board because that's what I had on hand and I didn't want to buy anything extra. But since this is our last baby, I wanted to buy something extra. So I did. And then um, I'm bringing this swaddle blanket. It's just kind of like a tan color. And I'm bringing that for the announcement photo to lay over the bassinet, kind of for the background. Um, but I also wanted to bring a swaddle blanket just in case I wanted it for any reason. That's her announcement outfit. I'm so excited to take her picture in that. So Josh picked her coming home outfit. He picked two different options. And um, it's always good to have two options, two different sizes and like one in a newborn size and one to zero to three month size. And it's also good to have multiple outfits just in case. So the first outfit he chose was this little cute shirt. Look at the little ruffles. And that shirt came with these little bloomers. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so cute. And it has a matching bow with it. So cute. And option number two that he chose was this little tank top shirt and it has little embroidered flowers on it. And that comes with these pants. And he chose this bow to go with this outfit. I'm doing a horrible job holding this up for you guys. Everything that is in our hospital bags currently, now I did mention at the beginning of this video that we do have a last minute list and it's actually in the notes app on our phone and it's shared between Josh and I so we both can see it at all times. And so whenever we, let's just say if there was an emergency and we needed to go to the hospital, um, if Josh was home and I wasn't, he could start putting everything in our bags. He, he could see the list. Um, if I was home, I could put stuff in our bags really quick. Um, it's just good to have multiple people have access to that list. Um, if you don't want it on your phone, you could just write it down and put it on the refrigerator. Whoever's home could grab that stuff. So here is our last minute list. We have the phone chargers, Josh's deodorant, which like I said, he is going to wait till last minute to pack. That's just what he wanted to do. So Josh's deodorant. We need to make sure we have Josh's wallet, our toothbrushes, my razor, um, my wallet. We need to make sure our cell phones are on there. Um, a hairbrush. We only have one hairbrush or else I would have packed it by now. My eyelash curler. Um, 
his AirPods. I think AirPods are really good because if one of you guys is trying to sleep, the other one doesn't want to sleep. You could be watching YouTube or whatever, TikTok on your phone, Instagram, you know, whatever you want to watch, Hulu, Netflix, anything um, without interrupting the other one. Josh's clothes and um, the last thing I have on here is Something that Josh doesn't know about. So Josh, if you're watching this, don't just cut it out here, which I'm pretty sure you're not, but just in case, um, is I'm getting him a push present. Yes, push presents are more so for the girls, but I think it's really important to recognize that yes, just because you are the one having the baby, and it is hard, um, it doesn't mean that your husband's not doing anything. It doesn't mean he's not being supportive. If he could take away the pain from you, I'm sure he would. Um, and he's also the one becoming a dad. Even if it's your second baby, I really think that like, you become a mom the first time you have a baby, but you also become a mom again the second time you have another baby. Um, and so he's becoming a dad again. And so I just wanted to get him a little present um, to symbolize, you know, him becoming a dad. I wrote him a little sentimental letter. I bought him a crew neck, a dad crew neck, and so that's what I got him for his present. Um, we did presents last time we were in the hospital. I got him a hat that said dad life on it, and so, and he got me my nails done. So, I would definitely do a present, even if it's something really small, even if it's just a little note, it's a nice touch. So that is everything in our hospital bags and on our list. Um, I hope you guys got some good ideas. We're really looking forward to baby number two. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It would mean so much to us and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.